Welcome back to my channel. My name's Antoinette if you are new here and today's video we are doing a spring declutter finally. I have moved into this loft like a year and three or four months ago and I've never done a declutter of the loft <laughs> since I've moved in. So it is time finally. I felt like spring would be the perfect time to do this seeing as spring cleaning. You know what I mean? Just a fresh season, spring equinox. It's time to refresh your space. So today I'm tackling the closet. I have not done this ever before in this. So everything in my walk-in closet at the moment which you'll see in a second oh by the way before we get to the spring clean I do have to just say a massive massive thank you to all of you who wrote and watched my last video it was the longest vlog I've ever uploaded the one that I read you guys the story in you guys seem to really like it and I read all of your comments just wanted to basically say thank you so much if you took the time to comment on that video it definitely means so much to me to see you guys just be accepting of me um, something about myself is that or anyone that makes content on the internet it's very easy to kind of put your best self forward and for me I always edit out so much of my personality in that video I just I didn't for whatever reason and I left in all the weird bits all of the awkward stutters all of that just like my real raw personality it definitely feels good to be seen and accepted so thank you guys so much for all of your kind comments on that video I got such good feedback I almost went back and took out some parts of that video once it was actually posted on YouTube I don't know if you guys know this but on YouTube you can actually go back and like edit little parts out on the actual YouTube like ass. So I almost went back and edited some of it out just sort of overthinking it and um, I'm really glad I did it So thank you guys so much one of my new year's goals or my goals for 2024 is just to like get over that fear of being seen I think I said this in a previous video, but that is something I've developed over the last few years Especially I found myself kind of over editing my videos editing every little breath that was like awkward It's very easy to edit out parts of your personality or parts of yourself that you feel like won't be accepted Even if it is just like silly goofy things or maybe you have like a strange laugh um, so sometimes I'll edit out my like goofy laugh just really silly stuff that no one would even probably notice but all that to say it does feel really good to be seen and accepted and I so appreciate you guys so so much for all those comments so yeah project get over fear of being seen is in full swing and <laughs> we are trying our best so yeah with that being said let's jump into this video okay so we're starting out with the closet today the closet has never been organized it is a wreck you guys could not judge me for what I'm about to show you it is so bad I found my favorite lip gloss again did I tell you guys I lost it? Cover girl. I love this lip gloss. It's like jelly and not glossy, if that makes any sense. I mean, it's glossy too, but it's it's way more jelly, if anything. And I just, I really love this. This good old CVS lip gloss. Okay. Before we get into the organizational bit of this video, I do have to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. You guys know how much. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know how much of a proponent of therapy I am. It has been genuinely life-changing for me. Did lots of therapy about two years ago when I was going through a massive breakup and just dealing with a lot. I decided to do talk therapy and I double timed with EDMR therapy, which is a different type of like trauma related therapy. And I did them both simultaneously simultaneously and both of them every week two therapy sessions twice a week straight it was over like 150 sessions it um, was completely life-changing for me so anytime I get a chance to talk about therapy to literally anyone about anything whether it's your mental health or past trauma anything you're going through in life I am just such a huge proponent of therapy and I think it is so helpful and useful very scary and intimidating to start the process of therapy really just being vulnerable and opening yourself up to a stranger but but through the process you will find that it is genuinely life-changing and I genuinely don't think I would have healed in the way that I am now without those therapy sessions, <laughs> truly. I'm gonna actually get back into it through BetterHelp because they have some really awesome features. You go on their website, you can use my code betterhelp.com slash Antoinette. You go on the website, you fill out a few questions and you're matched with the licensed therapist and they're basically there to give you helpful advice and discuss your issues to someone without any judgment. The thing I love about BetterHelp though is that you can do it all from the comfort of your home. Your phone, you can do messaging, which I think is groundbreaking because the way I could be vulnerable through like an email or a message is so much easier. Via message, I think is 
phenomenal. You don't even have to put a face to a name. You can just get some advice, which I think is amazing. But they also have video calls, phone calls. It's super convenient. So if you guys want to check it out, link will be down in the description box. It's betterhelp.com slash Antoinette, where you can get a special discount. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get to my closet. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with. I'm super embarrassed. I'm scared. <laughs> I haven't gone through any of this. I've literally just been piling stuff in and really worn the same like 10 outfits. Like a true, what do they call those? I've had like a true capsule wardrobe for the last year. Mainly because I focus so much more on my fitness now than anything. And once you become a fitness girly, you are constantly wearing workout gear. You're constantly in some sort of like workout situation. <laughs> so that's all you've really seen from me aside from like a couple fashion moments. But I want to get back on my fashion game. I really do. I've been working out a ton. I've been eating really well. Like I'm really in my game right now i'm feeling really good i've lost about seven or eight pounds since i last filmed that workout video so it's time to get back in the game and i need to clean up my closet make room for new stuff and sell some of the old stuff so let me just show you guys what i'm working with in the closet okay so this is what we're working with in the closet it is an absolute disaster I have not cleaned it since I moved in. As you can tell, I just threw up my clothes. The hangers are mismatched. The clothes are not color coordinated like they used to be. Tons of baskets down here full of like sunglasses and packing cubes, handbags, just like random, just clothes stuff. I need to just go through and organize all of this. A wreck. I have a ton of storage up there. Um, candle stuff, boots, old pillows. The plan is to remove everything from this closet. I think I'm gonna just take out every single thing. It's gonna be quite the project, but I think once we get the floor <laughs> clear, that'll be really easy to just pick and choose what I want to keep, create a pile of donation and clothes I'm gonna sell, and then um, just kind of organize the rest of the things I want to keep. So that is the plan. There's also this rack, which I keep kind of like my newer stuff on stuff that I want to like grab and wear super easy. I like having this extra rack that is portable so when I'm styling for vacations, if I'm styling for a night out, I can just grab things out of my closet and put it all here and then just decide like what outfits I like. It's nice to have a little extra rack to style on. So I do love that. I also have this wicker basket. I always get questions about this. It's from Ikea. It's like at least six or seven years ago back in New York but it is from Ikea. It's just like their plain wicker laundry basket and I love it. The little linen um, piece comes out so you can just take it right to your washer without having to bring the whole basket if you want i love it so yeah i'm gonna empty everything out organize the suitcases back there organize my handbags and just full on make this a nice little closet I taking out all of my shoes out of these baskets and I'm just gonna rearrange all my bags and shoes. Definitely needed to do this because I forgot about all of the shoes I have. I found some cute pieces in my wardrobe I completely forgot about, like this super cute two-piece juicy tracksuit that I've literally never even worn. I wore this in Vegas once, like two years ago, and I never even wore it other than that one time. I needed to do this because I had tons of stuff in my closet I didn't even know that I had still, so. Highly recommend doing a little wardrobe clear out for yourself. <laughs> This is 
what we came up with so much better and neater. I color coordinated the clothes, even though there's like a cream section right here that I should probably add to that cream section, whatever. Um, a few items I forgot I had. I also, I also consolidated all my candle stuff to this basket, which is phenomenal. So I'll be able to just grab it so much easier now. Why did I wait so long to do this? Don't ask. Um, <laughs> I don't know. And then I also have these shoes and boots that I completely forgot I had. I have a repeat, like similar black boots. They're really not the same, but very similar, similar finish. I've got the same shoe, I won the single strap black heel in like four different variations, which I love because you never know what you need. Um, same thing happening with the nude heels, but I do wear them all and I love them all and I just forgot that I had them. So that's nice. Again, little black booties that are so cute. Like these, completely forgot about these. Haven't worn them in two years. They're a little beat up, honestly. They're Sam Edelman and they're so cute. And I forgot all about them. Like such a nice leather boot. I do have some things I have to put back in here, unfortunately, like my laundry basket. We're just gonna set her, maybe we'll do her underneath here so it's nice and tucked away. What do we think? These are the clothes I'm selling on Poshmark. Oops, just broken nails, that's cool. Pissed about that, <laughs> hate when that happens. So, so much, okay. Hey, that felt so amazing to have that done. I can't see it so I can't like reap the benefits by <laughs> looking at it all day long but I just wanna go in here one more time and just like look at it again and just be able to walk through it can put my arms out yes Looks so good what have we been doing this whole time this whole time okay well that's the end of this portion of the video because they're drilling outside <sighs> story of my life lately you guys i don't know what's going on i think they're just trying to like redo the street or something it's a whole drilling situation so i'm about to hit a pilates class then i'm gonna come home and make a healthy dinny and i'm gonna do some new skincare i'm gonna show you guys hopefully the drilling is done by that time though okay i'll see you guys in a little Forty-five minutes to get ready. I am actually, you're not gonna believe, I'm getting ready for a third day. I can't believe it. This is the first third day I have accepted in like, um, like a year and a half, like a really, really long time. I could do a whole separate spiel video whoop, on dating if you guys want me to. I feel like I really have like it down packed at this point. I really do. I feel really confident in my like dating era. I wanted to pop on the camera and get ready with you guys because I just can't believe I'm like getting ready for a third date. I don't want to talk about it too much. I'm just going to go have fun. Um, I don't know where we're going. I love when boys plan like surprise dates. Like I don't know where we're going. Just tell me what to wear, what time the car will be here. Surprise me. I'm excited. I think we're doing an activity. He said like wear something you can move in. We're doing our like favorite contour tricky trick. I'm kind of in a hurry, which is not good. I like ran over today. Oh, you know what I really wanted to talk to you guys about? I just uploaded a 37 minute video. Can you believe that's the longest video I've ever uploaded? Um, but I'm really trying, I'm really trying. I love YouTube so much and I just want to find what works for me. I know that the tube, and you guys, I know YouTube and I know you guys love longer videos. And like the algorithm loves longer videos. And I'm shooting for the same vibe in this video. So you have to let me know what you think. Finding that balance of like entertainment plus education plus I don't know, all of the things, so the delicate balance. I am just setting my makeup. The other reason I wanted to talk to you guys was because MAC sent over their, they did send over their little PR package. This is their like trend kit, I guess. This is what they sent over. So I thought we would try some of it. Dang, they sent over a gloss that looks really fun. The Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick. Why would they call it that? I feel like that's the appropriate name for a lip gloss. I don't know why I don't like that name. Powder Kiss Lipstick and eyeshadow this eyeshadow is in wedge remember wedge was all the rage Ooh, is this this is damn 
This is an eye pencil. I was hoping it would be lip liner, but that's okay. And then the eyeshadow sat frost and wedge. They're like the perfect brown shade. So let's just like quickly throw some of this on and see if we can do a little looky look. Love this color. This is wedge. Such a popular color. It's like the perfect base. I feel like I have leftover shadow on this brush, so I'm like getting a weird color. I'm gonna put this kind of like blend it into the lid. This is in the color satin taupe. I'm nervous it will look too satiny or like cool tone on me. It doesn't look bad though. I'm loving that. I love the two together. I wasn't expecting to like that as much as I do, but I'm gonna do underneath as well. Should we do eyeliner tonight? I feel like we should. I never do eyeliner anymore, but I got Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner by Lancome. This is a brown one. I just don't feel like getting my black one out, but I actually really like the brown liner. I didn't think I would care for this, but I love how easy it is to just like wing it out really quick and you don't have to make sure it's super perfect. I'm gonna use Lancome's mascara. I love this one. This is a monster big. I, I forgot they gave me the brown liner, so I'm gonna actually put some of that on. I'm gonna put some of that on in my waterline. This is like old school pencil. Ooh, I like this one. It's like a nice warm brown liner. I was not, just not the color I would usually go for. I wouldn't even think to do this color. Okay, it's getting darker now. It's not even ideal that I would film a makeup tutorial with my hair like this, but I can't risk letting the curls out before it's time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, number one, the curls must set until you need to walk out the door. For lips, I'm doing KKW Beauty 90s Glam. I'm putting a tiny bit of red lipstick in the center just to make it look really pouty. Now I'm going to use this new MAC gloss. I don't know what kind of color this is. Ew, did I have a hair tie on that whole time? So unfortunate. Okay, what kind of color is this? Ooh, it's like a little mauve -y. You know what, that's too mauve -y. I like it though, but not for tonight. Tonight we're going for like pink bubble gum. So I'm gonna use the old trusty Lawless gloss. Okay, I'm gonna put some earrings on and get dressed. Outfit is so simple, so don't get excited. I don't even know what we're doing, but it's gonna be like jeans vibe. So let me get dressed. This is my outfit, guys. Is it cute? Just like a little jeans. That's it, guys. Super simple. Oh, let me put earrings on, and then I always have to take my hair out. I'll show you at the end. Okay, this is the finished look. It's giving. Let's spray her one last time. I think I'm gonna stick with the side part. What do you guys think? Fuck, it could get annoying though. Some hair oil on and call it a day. That's it for my look. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this kind of random spring refresh video. I hope you guys liked it. Did a nice little spring refresh makeup look. Check out all of those MAC products, products down below. I'll leave a link. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this little spring refresh video. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.